Everyone wishes they could fly. Perverts wish they could be invisible. I wish I were capable of photosynthesis. I, mean, I could I could acquire sustenance simply by sitting in the sun. And that's awesome. Sadly, even photosynthesis has a catch. I mean, you're, you're stuck in a dusty old house. You're basically screwed unless you happen to own several circular mirrors. And, uh, and you've, you've played a lot of Zelda. Make Link proud and prepare for a potentially photosynthetic future with Light the Flower for the iPhone. <laughs> Light the Flower is a beautifully simple game. There's a flower, it needs sunlight, a beam happens to be coming through the window, you have mirrors. And it's your job to bounce the sunlight to the plant by using those mirrors. Ambitious players can try to collect three stars for higher scores, but otherwise, uh, that's the basic idea. What I love about Light the Flower is that the game is built around a simple concept, but it fleshes itself out with really clever puzzle designs. Each level seems to introduce some new obstacle or twist. For example, some plants use colored light, so you may have to pass the beam through a color filter before it gets to the flower. You might even have to split a single beam into several. I mean, look at this! Who needs a mirror shield? What's interesting about this game is how precise some of the solutions are. I solved a few puzzles with just this sliver of light barely getting by an object, almost as if I found a way around the intended solution. But that's the precision light the flower demands, and tilting a mirror even by a pixel can change everything. <laughs> Light the Flower immediately struck a chord with me. It's smart, it's charming, and with five houses to play through, each with 12 levels, there's no shortage of plants to revive. If you're looking for an interesting puzzler that'll both test your brain and make you smile, download Light the Flower and plant a little fun on your iPhone. <laughs>